Good morning guys, welcome to the Karoo. We're back at Parkinsrug for our annual hunt here. This place is absolutely awesome. One of my favorite venues to come to, to hunt. If my voice is a little bit gone, let's just say last night was very enjoyable with the boys and the family around the fire. It was, it was so lacquer. I am shooting for a couple of my friends too, as well as for myself. So we will be shooting quite a bit of animals. Um, yeah. Things are going to have to be close. You probably can't hear it yet on the video because the microphone will hopefully do a good job of cutting through the wind. The problem in the Karua is they've got all these low type bushes and you really don't see the wind affecting the terrain. But on the forecast, there's a 50 km per hour wind forecast for today and tomorrow. So it should make our, our shooting very interesting. So I've written my dope down on my hand as I always do. And I've kept those distances right in. So it's going to be close, 200 meters type shots. Other than that, it's going to be very risky to, to shoot in these type of conditions. So it is what it is. Every day can be a hunting day. It doesn't necessarily have to be a shooting day. Anyway, guys, let's get into the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy. It's freezing. I'm going to go back inside, finish my coffee, and then wait for the rest of the gentlemen to fluff their feathers so we can go hunting. So we're out this morning doing a driven hunt. We were walking stalk hunting yesterday with no success. And then as luck would have it, at last light, my uncle shot a springbok at 480 meters with his 6.5 Creek Pika that I set up for him. Absolutely drilled it. It was awesome to see. So he at least opened up his account. So this morning we're doing a driven hunt, as I said. So we're sort of sitting in the corner of a camp, hoping to have multiple shot opportunities, but it's very windy already about 20 kilometers per hour and we're expecting the wind to go up to 50 so we're shooting at a 223 so we're gonna have to make our shots count so update we had no joy at our previous spot we sat there for a few hours it's now one o'clock literally seen nothing so we moved the winds pushing 40 should be interesting um, with the whole family here which is lekker Matthew's eating his 19th jaffel for the morning so even though we haven't shot something, it's it's been like a Okay, so as we as we were literally talking, my little brother spotted two coming up here towards us. Tapped the first one. Second one, I can't remember. It happened really fast. I think I missed off my first shot. Second shot, she went down. Briefly got up for a follow-up shot. And uh, yeah, just closed the show pretty quickly there. Boom.
Wait, middle scene. Middle scene. Middle Ik zie nog van dat hij zo leeg op hemzelf. Okay, so my little brother Matthew harvested his first springbok ever and in South Africa there's a bit of hunting tradition. Now the light's going down, the sun's about to set. Now some people take this way overboard. I'm not going to do that to him because I think sometimes it's a little bit rough. But he's definitely going to have something to eat now. Um, it's sort of part of the tradition. Okay, so we've got Matty's piece of liver. It's like, I don't you know, like it. It's smaller than that. No, I'll we, eat that. No, no, no. This is. Oh no, it fell on the ground. Okay, it's um, the goal is to just put it in your mouth and to chew it. I'm not. Can I just swallow it? You won't be able to just swallow it. Okay. Wait. The goal. Why I can't I just swallow it? I also don't like making half an hour long YouTube videos. So just don't be a girl. You just gotta go. It's actually not bad. I was very fearful my first time, but it's actually not bad at all. <laughs> just go. Stay down. Moi Matty man. Don't try swallow too soon. And how does it taste? Like more. Okay. Now for some pour paint. Yeah. Yeah. Need to wiki so. Sai. Need to wiki. I can so. Sai. Let's go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> awesome, dude. Shot. Well done. Thank Bye you. Bye, Trotsopia. Phew. Like, and that is how we field dress an animal in South Africa and sort of our hunting initiation. Some people take this uh -huh. and they would make him wear it as a cape. But uh, <laughs> we don't want to do that today. You can have some water. Like a mat. <laughs> So we had a successful day out, it obviously started very slow, but then as kind of with last year, it escalated rapidly. We pulled off, I think we shot eight animals here, seven or eight animals here now where we were. Super stoked for my little brother, put an absolute pinpoint shot on this animal at 200 and 250 meters, I think. I dialed 0.5 for him and he shot out the Vortex Radiant tripod on the money. So it was super cool and I'm super proud of him for doing his initiation well. So lacquer and he's wearing his war paint which he'll wear until after he's at least third beer this evening guys thank you very much these hunts are always lacquer fun so please share these videos with your mates and uh, let's get the channel growing i want to also thank my brother Geis for coming out running the video cameras and stuff please make sure you follow him on his social media that will also be linked down below and to my dad jason for also pulling along it was very very lacquer and to all of my mates who came out on the hunt it's always lacquer sharing a hunting camp with you guys until the next one bye